Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new FIFA 21 career mode video on the channel and today we're going to be doing a rebuild and we're going to take it on Everton. And so since David Moyes did leave the club and a new owner came into Everton, been trying to push in to that top six, top five of the Premier League and they haven't been able to do it. And so recently they have just appointed Rafa Benitez after Carlo Ancelotti has left and in today's rebuild we're going to try and do it ourselves and take Everton to the top and win the Champions League. And so I'm so excited for this thing, guys. The first rebuild on the channel. I can't wait to get stuck straight into this. So if you guys are excited for it, please don't forget, leave a like down below on the video. And also, if you'd like to see any other rebuilds, let me know down below in the comments which other teams you'd like me to do. But uh, just before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy this and you want to see more rebuilds and more FIFA videos, hit the red subscribe button down below. And so one thing as well you guys won't know about me is that I'm actually an Everton fan. So that might surprise a couple of you guys. Obviously, it's not really something I've come out and said on the channel because I didn't really find the right time to tell everyone. And, it, you know, if you shove it in, like, let's say, episode 15 of the Chelsea career mode, only a few people are going to watch that. So Everton rebuild, you guys now know that I am an Everton supporter. So again... I know quite a lot about this team. I know where we need to improve. And I think first things first, we're going to go with a 4-3-3 attack. I just feel like it suits the players a little bit more. With Charleston a little bit closer to goal. And I think as well, Rodriguez should be playing at Cam. We're going to try and offload Sigurdsson. Try and offload the likes of maybe Michael Keane, uh, Josh King, obviously Gomez. Try and offload a Wobie as well. Try and get some decent money for him. Bernard, again, there's a lot of players we need to offload in this team. Fabian Delph as well. He needs to go. But uh, there is a few players I am looking to build the team around. And that's the likes of Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison, Luca Dean. Uh, I'd like to try and keep uh, Rodriguez as high as overall as he can for as long as possible. But again, you know, if he gets three, four seasons in and he starts to decline, we might have to look at replacing him in that cam position. So let's take a look then at the transfer budget. As you guys can see, we just got over 55 million to spend in this transfer window, which I think is quite decent. It will allow us to get at least two solid players into the team with that money. But again, also players we can sell which will increase our transfer budget. And so just before we go any further into this rebuild then, I thought I'd show you guys the rules we've got with this rebuild. We haven't got too many rules, but again, the first one, all games simulated. Next one, can make any transfers. Obviously, that is necessary for the rebuild and plus must play the Champions League final. So again, that is the main aim in this rebuild is to go ahead, get to the Champions League final and also play it. And then the final rule, which is sign two players who Rafa Benitez has managed. So, of course, when Carlo Ancelotti took over, he signed the likes of James Rodriguez and Allen. Obviously, he managed at Napoli and Real Madrid. So, again, Benitez are going to go down a similar route. And Benitez has managed some pretty big clubs in his time. Liverpool, Real Madrid, Napoli, Newcastle as well. And trying to think there might be at Chelsea. Yeah, how could I forget Chelsea in there as well? So, again, um, I can't sign anyone who's at Chelsea right now. So, I can't just go ahead and sign Kai Havertz. But whoever was at Chelsea when he was in charge... That's who we can sign. But well, here we go then. Our first signing of the rebuild is going to be Alan St. Maximin from Newcastle. Now, again, we need to sign two players who Rafa Benitez has managed before. St. Maximin, of course, being one of them players. And St. Maximin is going to fit in that right wing role for us. So let's take a look then at how long this development plan is going to take. So right winger is going to take two weeks. That is great. So let's get straight on that. And also one player I am looking forward to using, of course, is Moise Keane. But again, I'm going to leave him out on loan at the moment. I don't know how much game time he would get this season with the likes of Calvert-Lewin starting every game up front for us. But I do think next season, recall him, then maybe go to a formation with, you know, two strikers up top. And so that transfer then was quite expensive for us, guys. I got to admit, I didn't think I'd be paying 33.5 million plus Delve for, say, maximum. But again, it's left us with 25 million in the transfer budget. Now, again, we can't really go crazy. We haven't really sold anyone as of yet. But again, a right back is definitely needed now. And here we go then, our next signing for the rebuild is going to be Denzel Dumfries, who Everton are actually linked with in real life. Obviously, PSV are currently the club he's at, and Everton are still yet to make an offer for him. But in this rebuild, I had to go pick him up for that right back position. So again, he was quite costly, but he fits into this team perfectly. And okay then, as you can see in game right now, um, Varane has actually moved to Manchester United. Of course, rumoured to move there in real life, and United are going to sign him for 73 Point six million. So this is how the team is looking in going into this first season with Everton. I haven't been able to offload as many players as I, as I would like. Ideally, you can see Sigurdsson still at the club. Gomez, an offer did come in for him, but I think I'll use him this season. Then depending on how he gets on, maybe sell him next season for try and get, you know, at least 20 million for him if we can. Again, the likes of a Wobie I'm going to keep for this season, probably offload next season. Holgate is the interesting one. Do you keep Holgate, try and grow him, or do you try and get as much money for him as you can now? Because he is 23 years of age. 
And then I've got the likes of Godfrey here, who is a year younger and only one overall lower. So again, I think I'll keep Godfrey, try and get some decent money for Holgate. But again, not a bad, not a bad window in my opinion. St. Maximin and Dumfries, I bet you've you asked most Everton fans, they'd be happy with them two in the window. And so we did just manage to sell Bernard, and so we got ourselves 11.5, 11 11.6 million in the transfer budget here. So again, I think I'm going to leave this money for now. Going to start simming some games right now, see how we do, get to January, and then we sell some more players, maybe use that money, make another big sign-in. But again, it all depends how many players we can get sold between now and January. But let's just then, out of interest, just see how this team does do in the first game of the season. Taking on West Ham away from home, St. Maximum got a minus one. Should still have a good game, and against West Ham we get beaten 3-1. Hammers are coming up with the only goal that we do score, but... Again, not a great start to the season. So I've got to admit then, guys, a little bit of a worrying start. Getting a 3-1 defeat to West Ham and then following up by a 3-0 defeat to Arsenal. What? Okay, what? We haven't won a game yet so far. Come on, Southampton at home. Finally, we get a win. So again, we might have to improve this team come January. But uh, let's find out where we are when we do reach that. So here we are then, guys. Come January, 21 games in. We're in eighth place right now. It's not the best of starts for us, as you guys seen. We started off with a couple of defeats, but recently, I think we've been able to bounce back. But 30 points really isn't good enough. We really need to try and improve the squad in this transfer window. So let's have a see then who is actually scoring the goals for us. And it looks like no one at the moment. St. Maximum, 9 in 19 matches. Anyone else? Anyone else actually bagged any goals for Charleston? 7 in 20 matches, Awobi 6 in 16, no sign of Calvert-Lewin though. And so we have had some issues then whilst we've been simming, Mason Holgate, apparently he wanted another contract, obviously I've just ignored that, so right now he's not happy and he's on a transfer list, so again did want to try and sell him, but uh, I don't know if I've been able to get any decent money for him now, but Sigurdsson has been sold and we've got 8.5 million added to the transfer budget. And so we have so far then been able to convert St. Maximin from a left midfielder to a right winger. And also Hamas Rodriguez from a right winger to a cam. And now with Charleston from a striker to a left winger. And he stays the same. How disappointing. But let's get him on inverted winger. And hopefully we'll still grow this season. And here we go then. We have got our new player in this January transfer window. James Ward-Prowse signed him in for about £36 million. And again... I did have all players in mind, but Ward Prowse, again, just had to pick him up. 81 rated, 26 years of age, and he'll help this team out massively. And wow, okay then, guys. We've actually finished in fifth place this season. Level on points with Chelsea, but we go ahead of them because of goal difference. And wow, okay, look at look at the table. Man City on 92 points, and then United in second with 79. Wow, okay, and just the fact that we finished fifth place... We just really picked it up after that second half of the after that first half of the season. That first half of the season was quite poor. Second half of the season, bringing in Ward Prowse seemed to have changed everything. So let's have a see then who has been bagging the goals for us this season. St. Maximin in 10th place at 14 out of 36. Calvert Lewin, 14 out of 28. So he missed quite a few games this season, Calvert Lewin. Missed 10 in the league. Don't know if he was injured or something. I'm not too sure there. But again, Calvert Lewin grew this second season, as you see in the first half. He wasn't even on this list. And in terms of assist, it's going to go to Wobi, 7 out of 20, which I feel like is quite poor. Hamas Rodriguez with 5 out of 33. So the team then has grew quite a lot in this first season. Let's be honest here, guys. Richarlison, 84. Calvert-Lewin, 84. St. Maximin, 84 as well. Unbelievable. Rodriguez as well, 84. He went up by 1 when we did convert him. And then even got up another one now to an 84 rated. So again, the team's looking really good. Dumfries as well now, 83 rated. But I do think next season, we need to start working on these centre-back positions. So season two, we do get £146 million to spend, guys. Obviously, after getting fifth place last season, getting in the Europa League, we do have quite a lot of money to spend. And I really can't wait to get this money put to some good use. So here we go then, our big signing for season two. And i got to be honest, guys, this is who I wanted to sign at last season when we signed Ward-Prowse. But again, couldn't afford him. But this season now, over £146 million went out and splashed the cash and brought in Ruben Neves. And so to start season two then, we've already been able to offload quite a few players here. Awobi being sold to Dortmund, we've got 17 million for him. Tosin being sold as well. And Michael Keane making a move back to his former club, Manchester United, and we get 28 million for that transfer. And here we go then, guys, another massive signing for the team. John Stones does return back to Everton. He actually did make a move to Bayern Munich, but we brought him back and I can't wait to get him into the team. And so this is how the team is looking then so far into this transfer window. I am still looking to make one more signing in this window but I'm pretty happy with how this team is developing again Moise Keane I'm struggling to get him game time this season but I think I'll try and rotate him and Calvert-Lewin and just see who does perform better than the other one but again the bench could do with being a little bit better but apart from that this team is doing really well so I think another centre-back and we're pretty good and so we have gone ahead then and signed a new centre-back into the team guys went ahead and signed Christiansen from Chelsea and now funny enough after doing a little bit of research online 
when Rafa Benitez was in charge of Chelsea, that is when they went ahead and bought Christensen. I do, I do believe that is right. Please let me know down below in the comments if that is wrong. But I'm pretty certain. So again, Christensen was at Chelsea whilst Rafa Benitez was there. So again, that does help us. So St. Maximin and Christian does tick them two boxes for the challenge. So here is then our Europa League group for this second season with Everton. So I'm pretty confident we'll make it out of the group stages. But it's when it starts getting to the knockout stages and you get the teams that fail in the Champions League. That is where I think we might struggle this season. But obviously bringing John Stones in, Ruben Neves, Christensen as well. You just never know. We might actually go far in this. So we've just seen through then and we are now on January the 1st, guys. Let's once again check on the table and see how we're doing. And so the Premier League table, we're actually in sixth place right now on 39 points. And I guess it was always going to be tough, you know, going into the Europa League, that big increase in games. But again, I would like to try and see us finish in the top four. Is it possible? We're only six points behind Man City who aren't having their best season. And even the objective this season is to finish in a Champions League place. Now, of course, we do go on, go on and win the Europa League. We do get Champions League football next season, but it's not always a guarantee. You can't just guarantee from this moment onwards that we will, you know, obviously go ahead and win the Europa League. So again, I think maybe maybe a signing is needed. So we've had to go out then, guys, and make a massive new signing for the team. Yuri Tillemans, he's going to join us. Signing for around about 70 million. I think it was on the last year of his contract. And again, 86 rated. I think we need that type of player in the midfield. And so just checking the top scorers right now. And once again, we don't have anyone in the top scorers anywhere near the top. Where is Rodriguez? 6 out of 21. Why have we got no one scoring goals in this team and assists? Okay, Rodriguez with 5. So Rodriguez looks like he's, you know, scoring the goals and assisting them. And Cavalier and Richarlison, nowhere to be seen. Anyway, guys, after signing Tielemans, we've only got, what, 8 million left in the transfer budget. No money left to make any more signings. We'll have to just see now if that Tielemans signing does make the difference between where we are in the league now and where we'll finish. So here is then how the team is looking before we do go ahead then and sim the rest of this second season. As you can see, the team... It's more than good enough, I think, right now to be getting in that Champions League spot. You see, look at these front three players, all 86 rated, yet none of them seem to be scoring any goals. And so just to show you guys then the Europa League, of course, we did make it out of the group. Five wins and one draw. Now into the round of 32, where we are taking on Dynamo Kiev. And so we have actually made it to the final of the Carabao Cup, guys, taking on Manchester City. Now, unfortunately, in the first season, we didn't get to the final of any Cups. But uh, this time round, second season, into the final of the Carabao. So let's have a see right now. Quick sim this. Of course, we can't play it. And come on, can we get some silverware this season? Man City. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Man City get a 2-0 win. We made literally nothing that game by the looks of it. Man City just beat us all over the field. We're into the semi-finals of the Europa League. See Spurs taking on Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg getting a 3-0 win in that first leg. And we've got Bayern who beat us 2-1. In that first leg in the semi-finals. We're going to find out right now. Can we make it through to the final? And you guys can see our team growing really well. And again, next season, if we don't make it into the Champions League, I don't really know where to improve the side. But again, Bayern, one of the toughest teams. Um, we've got Harry Maguire in there. But let's go ahead. Let's quick sim. Come on. Can we make it through to the final? And we can't. Bayern Munich knocking us out. So after getting to the semi-final then of the Europa League and getting knocked out, we did finish off the season quite strongly. And we are now into the final of the FA Cup, taking on Arsenal. So here we are then. FA Cup final against Arsenal. Let's have a see. Can we get a win in this one? Obviously, Carabao Cup final didn't go our way. Man City getting a 2-0 win. But again, you're looking at our team right now and you're thinking, how can we lose this? But let's have a see. Let's quick sim now against Arsenal. We did just beat them in the league and we do beat them in this. And we pick up an FA Cup this season. Covent Lewin, Ruben Neves and Richarlison with the goals. And also, guys, more good news. We did actually finish in the top four this season. It was close. Very close. As you can see, Spurs level on points with us. But we do go ahead on goal difference in the end. And it does mean we'll have Champions League football next season at Goodison Park. But let's also then take a look at the competition winners this season. So the FA Cup, we do know we beat Arsenal in the semi-finals. It was us beating Norwich. Arsenal end up beating Man City. Wow, okay. Carabao Cup, as we know, Man City getting a turnover win against us. Super Cup this season was between Sevilla and Napoli. Okay, interesting to see. Champions League final is still to be played. That's between Liverpool and Barcelona. Europa League, has that been played as of yet? And it hasn't. And as we know... Bayern Munich taking on Wolfsburg. And let's take a look as well at the top scorers in the Premier League. And it's nice to see now Calvert Lewin and Richarlison starting to make their way up the list. But again, first half of the season just has to be better because there's no way you can start a season like we did and only have, what was it, Hamas Rodriguez and what, five or seven goals? It's just not good enough. And assists does go to Rodriguez with eight in 37 matches. But let's just take a quick look then before we do finish off this second season. The winners of the Europa League and Champions League. Europa League goes to Bayern Munich. 
To be honest, Wolfsburg, again, 2-1, not a bad result. Um, Champions League final does go to Barcelona, getting a 4-2 win. Napoli making it through to the semi-finals. Okay, not too bad there from Napoli. So let's take a look at the team then at the start of season three, guys. I reckon this season, if we make the right signings, we could actually go ahead and maybe possibly win the Champions League. Again, it all depends on the right signings. And where is um, James Rodriguez? Why is he... Wait, where is he? Why Sims at Cam? Okay, no Hamas Rodriguez. Has he been sold? Has he retired? No one's told me about anything, about him retiring. I don't remember seeing any sort of message. Let's have a see. Let's go down. Guys, I'm honestly baffled right now. Hamas Rodriguez is not in my team. Moise Keane ended up going out on loan to United because, again, he just wasn't getting game time. He was getting unhappy about it. But the most important thing, Hamas Rodriguez is gone. Okay, so the only thing I can guess is that Hamas Rodriguez, his contract maybe ran out. I didn't renew it. Or he's retired. Let's have a see. Can I find him on the transfer market right now? Because he's a free agent. I'll pick him back up. Um, Hamas, um, let's have a see. Rod. Oh, Rodriguez, he is still in the game. Yeah, he is a free agent. Right, okay. So I've just let him run out of his contract without knowing. But for this season then, we do get another big massive chunk of money. We've got £173 million to spend in the transfer budget. And again, guys, I don't really know where to improve the team at the moment. I think the only two positions I could improve is maybe the cam position. Because Rodriguez, even though he's 85 rated, we could get someone that's maybe 90 rated if possible. And also maybe the goalkeeper position. So I think maybe another cam and also a goalkeeper and then you know surely we've got to be getting into the Champions League final with that team and here he is then guys our massive signing for season three Jack Grealish does get the number 10 shirt cost us 102 million to bring him in and surprise surprise he was still at Aston Villa 26 years of age left winger at the moment hoping I can convert him to a cam because again 86 rated I'm sure he can still improve so also then we're going ahead and signing Jack Grealish. Also went ahead and re-signed Hamas Rodriguez to the team. Because again, you can't allow someone like that just to sit on the free agents. And you just can't. So again, he's going to help us out on the bench. And you just never know, guys. You know, he could still make a massive impact to this team. So after signing Jack Grealish then and also re-signing Hamas Rodriguez. They don't actually have too much money in the transfer budget left. We've got 68 million. But that doesn't leave us much in the wage budget. So I think what I'm going to do right now is keep Jordan Pickford in goal. Because you never know, he could still grow this season. And then leave this money for the January transfer window and then make any emergency signings we need. And also, just before I forget and we go into this third season here, let's have a see how long and can we even retrain Jack Grealish to a cam? And we can. It'll only take two weeks. And I'm hoping after them two weeks we convert him and he goes up to at least an 87. And as you guys can see then, the objective for the club as well is to reach the final of the Champions League. And like I say, with the team we've got, we should be at least reaching the semi-final slash final. But well, here we go then, the first game of this third season in the Community Shield, we do have Liverpool, the Merseyside Derby. Let's go ahead, let's quick sim this. Can we start the season with a win? And we don't. It goes to penalties. Same maximum missing and Liverpool picking up the Community Shield. But well, here we go then, let's convert Jack Grealish from a left winger to a cam. And let's have a see, will his overall increase? And it does, at least it goes up to an 87. That's so good, guys. Now his stats will increase through a development plan, which is a shame. But again, let's just get him on Shadow Striker. And let's get this third season underway. And of course then guys, the Champions League. Let's show you guys who is in our group and what group we are in. So again, Champions League this season. Some really good teams in here. But this is our group, Group D. We've got Inter Milan. We've got Lille as well. Two very strong sides there, guys. Again, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. But again, this team is more than capable of getting past the group stage and surely to the final. And here we are then, guys, January the 1st, 2023. Let's take a look right now and see how we have done this season. And, okay, we can't check out the league just yet. Okay, okay, let's have a see where we are. Premier League table, we're second place. Wow, okay, 50 points. Only six points behind Liverpool. Leicester in third, Man City down in fifth place. Wow, okay, what a season we're having so far. And maybe the difference this season then is they've actually got people putting the ball in the back of the net. And let's take a look. And okay, no, Ivan Tony though. He's at the top of the top scorers list. We do have Richarlison with nine. But once again, guys, we're lacking goals in the first half of these seasons. Looking a little bit better this season. Now we've brought Jack Grealish in. And assists, again, look at that. Jack Grealish then, nine assists in 20 matches. But of course then, let's go out and check the Champions League and see how we are doing. And now, have we made it out of the group? And we have made it out of the group. We've got PSG next. Wow, okay. In the group stage, we did finish in second place, a point behind Inter Milan. Surprised to see Lille finish bottom of the group, got to be honest. But PSG in the next round, is, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not what I wanted. And here is then how the team is looking. Like I say, guys, is there any improvements I could make? Because again, goalkeeper position I could. 
Well, between Pickford, above Pickford, you've probably got the likes of Donnarumma, Kilo Navas, you know, players like that, again, that are already at big clubs, and it would cost us a lot of money. So, again, I think Pickford, 85 rated, is more than good enough. It just depends, really, on this front three, putting the ball in the back of the net. Well, let's get into this first leg, then, against PSG. You can see Mbappe playing up front for them. Still, Neymar still playing on the left-hand side for them. Let's have a see right now. First leg. How are we going to do? Come on, guys. Come on. I, there we go. 2-0 win. Hamas Rodriguez coming on for a Charleston in that left wing position and grabbing a goal. That is massive. A 2-0 win in the first leg. And here we go, then, guys. Into the second leg now against PSG. Let's have a seat. Come on. We've already got the two home goals. We're now away from home. Clean sheet and a goal would do the job. Like I said, we don't need a goal. Just clean sheet would do. And there we go. We are through. We are through into the next round. PSG get themselves two home goals, but we get an away goal and that is us through into the quarterfinals. And let's take a look then and see who we've got in the quarterfinals. We've got Villarreal. Wow, okay, I do like the sound of that draw. Liverpool taking on Barcelona once again. Atletico taking on Inter, but that is massive for us, guys. If we can beat Villarreal, which I do think we should be able to, who did they beat in the round of 16? And they ended up beating... Okay, my eyes are just everywhere, but beating Wolfsburg 3-2... Okay, beat Villarreal, we're through to the semi-finals, get it, get, oh, I don't know what team I'd like in the semi-finals, but again, we've got a good chance here of getting to the final. So I thought I'd give you guys then just a quick update on how we're doing in all competitions. Now, for a little while in the Premier League, we was in first place, but we dropped down now into third place, but um, FA Cup, I do believe we're into the semi, yeah, into the semi-finals, and look at the teams that are left, Derby, Burnley, Fulham, we should be winning that FA Cup, should be, Carabao Cup, I don't think we made it to the final, no, Liverpool beating Chelsea, but Champions League, guys, is looking up for us. We've got Atletico Madrid in the semi-final. Quarterfinals, we beat Villarreal 5-1 over the two legs. So, as you guys can see then, in the first leg, we did get a 2-1 win against Atletico Madrid. Liverpool losing 2-0 to Dortmund in the first leg of the semi-finals. Let's go ahead right now. Let's sim this second leg. So, we got a 2-1 win at home in the first leg. So, Atletico Madrid have got one away goal. We've got two home goals. That's pretty much cancels each other out. So... As long as we, you know, get a win in this one. Come on, this player's a little bit tired as well. But let's go ahead. Let's quick sim. I can't take it anymore. The pressure. 1-1. One, one, and we are through into the final, guys. I'm pretty certain that does mean we are through. And of course it does, guys. We are through into the final of the Champions League. We're going to be taking on Dortmund for the final, which is quite interesting. I thought it might have been a Merseyside derby in the final. But uh, no, Dortmund getting a 3-2 win over the two legs. We got a 3-2 win over two legs. And it's going to be us two meeting in the final. Not only are we into the final of the Champions League, we're also now into the final of the FA Cup. And as I expected, guys, we should be winning this game now against Burnley in the final. Let's have a see. Do we get a win in this final right now? Everyone's fully fit. Some amazing overalls right there, guys. Let's have a see. Quick sim. And we do. Only the 1-0 win, though. But uh, that's great. That Calvert Lewin with the goal grabs us an FA Cup trophy. So just before we do go ahead then and finish off today's video with the Champions League final against Dortmund, let's have a look at the Premier League and see how we've done this season. Third place finish, guys, which isn't too bad. It's an improvement on last season, but again, only one point behind Man City. And we was in first place for a little while. Just ended up slipping away from us. FA Cup, we won. Carabao Cup, as you guys know, Liverpool beating Chelsea in the final of that. And the Europa League final is going to be between Atalanta and... And Valencia. And at least this time then, in the Premier League, Richarlison is in the top five. I've actually got a player in the top five. You see, Man United have signed Lukaku. He's got 15 goals in 36 matches in the Prem this season. But again, Richarlison really coming in clutch for us. 18 goals in 38 matches. Well, here we go then, guys. Let's get into this final, this Champions League final, taking on Dortmund. You can see Dortmund's side doesn't look really any different to what Dortmund start with at the start of the, sea, at the, start of the game. So again, interesting. But our team... Has completely changed, but again, we have still got some Everton players in there. Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin, Luca Dean, um, Pickford, of course. It couldn't really count John Stones. But again, obviously, players on the bench as well. But again, Richarlison, our highest-rated player at 92. Let's get into it now against Dortmund and hopefully finish off today's video with a win. One thing I would love to know then, guys, is what rating Haaland is in-game. Is, is there a way I could check? Is there a way I can go and play a ratings or performance or something like that? Is there a way that I can check? And there is, there is. Let's have a see right now. Haaland, let's have a see what overall he is. 92. Okay, not too bad. Uh, Sancho, 91. So again, Dortmund got a really, really strong side right now. No surprise to see them in the final. There we go, Grealish. Maybe get St. Maximin sent out wide in the end. Not the greatest pass in the world. But who would have thought, guys, signing Jack Grealish, do you reckon that was a turning point in Season 3? Because I reckon if we didn't sign a stronger Cam... It was either go out and sign a stronger goalkeeper, but again, the only other goalkeepers was really Kilo Navas, Donnarumma, 
So I do think signing Jack Grealish has changed this team and also having a player like Hamas Rodriguez on the bench, if need be, and Dortmund come really close. Okay, that's great from John Stone, stopping that ball there from Haaland. Emre Can, though, Dortmund, I've got to be honest, guys, have seen majority of the ball in this game. We haven't really had a touch of it. Julian Brandt, okay, come on. Track back, Tielemans, Delaney now on the ball. Here we go, Sancho. Okay, Julian Brandt, there we go, that's a great tackle, that is a great tackle, Tielemans now, let's try and hit them on the break, Calvert-Lewin, Grealish, Grealish, there we go, is he onside, is he onside, chip him, chip him, oh, that's a great save, that's a great save, okay, just fell over Haaland, Haaland, okay, yeah, we know from the Chelsea Carimo guys, he's unreal, couldn't get the ball off in there, but just able to get it clear with Dumfries in the end, and let's have a see, Sancho whips it in, Richarlison, just able to get ahead on that, to Sober now, Hazard, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, put an end to this attack right now, Emery Chan, Sancho, okay, just clear that, and there we go, we get it cleared, oh, that's a great ball for Haaland to run to, but Pickford is there, and Pickford does knock Haaland down in the end, but let's go, John Stones, Stones, right, we need to build up from the back, but it is difficult, because Dortmund really pressing us at the moment, but uh, here we go, Dumfries now, this right-hand side. Okay, running to a dead end, running to a dead end. Uh, let's go through the middle, Neves, Grealish. Here we go, Tielemans can play it out wide for Richarlison. Richarlison now, Richarlison, maybe the finish is on. And it's a great stop once again. Nil-nil in this game, both teams having some pretty good chances. Whips in, Neves, come on. Come on, the headers may be there, it's not there in the end. Julian Brandt, he's got options. Haaland. There we go, John Stones. That is brilliant from John Stones. Just being able to recover that ball and now we're straight back on the attack once again. Ruben Neves, Tielemans. We need Calvert-Lewin in behind. And okay, Calvert-Lewin is in behind. And what happened there? That is what we need. That, once again, just that. Calvert-Lewin running in behind and we'll score in this game. Oh, that was great. Tielemans cutting out the pass in midfield. Jack Grealish now, come on, ball. Oh, okay, Calvert-Lewin. A little bit worried he might be offside there. Grealish just keeping this one held up though. Neves, back for Grealish. Maybe through. Oh, okay. Cut out once again. This Dortmund defence, very well, very well organised. Okay, we're in trouble. We are in 100% trouble right now. Haaland. Oh, that's great. Dumfries, right place, right time to cut out that cross there from Haaland. And it's really helping us because we're into the second half right now. A goal obviously is needed. But again, we're, we're just struggling. Oh, here we go. Grealish. Go on. Richarlison, chase onto that. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. Richarlison finds the pass now to Ruben Neves. This time, we're going to try to go down the right with Alan St. Maximum. There we go, inside. Calvert Lewin finished that and it's in. There we go, 1 0 in this game. 62 minutes in. Calvert Lewin, the goal scorer for this one. And this time, we actually go down the right hand side with St. Maximum and it worked out all along. And there we go, 1 0 up in this game. I don't think one goal is enough to hold Dortmund back. I really don't think it is. So, two goals is necessary, I reckon. Neves, though, with the pre-assist, if you want to call it that, and then the pass inside. Cavalier finishes it, and there we go, 1-0 up. Okay, got to watch that, got to watch that. Why have we allowed that much room? And Thomas Delaney makes it 1-1 in this game. How have we allowed that much space for him to just run into? You know, we've done so well all game. Fair enough, not 100% perfect at the back, but we've done pretty well, and we just allowed that much space to be created. Here's the look at the replay once again. And just look at all that space there. Look at all that space. John Stones, Christensen. No one is covering that space whatsoever. And Delaney just allowed to run on through. We're a great ball. And there you go. Now 1-1. There we go. Ruben Neves now. Tempted to go for the shot here. But a pass inside. Grealish down for Richardson. Richardson working it inside. Richardson. Oh, guys. Come on. That might be our final chance. Let's get Rodriguez on. Let's get him on. 86 rated. Let's see if he can change this game. There we go. Cutting it out at the back. Dumfries able to get us now straight onto the counter. This is where we need players pushing. Push, 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 push. Everybody push. Tielemans, keep that. There we go. We just kept it just in time. Luca Dean. Maybe um, back to Tielemans. Okay, okay. In the middle. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. No, the first touch. The first touch. Rodriguez could have been the one. The knight in shining armour to get us the win in this one. He's been with us since the beginning. And we just couldn't make it happen. Now Hazard on the counter-attack. Could this be the one for Dortmund? Dumfries. Okay. Okay. We're going to bring someone else out. Christensen. Oh, come on. And there we go. That is full time. We need extra time to settle this. Harlan finds the pass to Dahoud. And come on. Come on. Win it. There we go. Oh, foul, man. Come on. 102 minutes in. 34 yards out. Harland for the free kick right now. Let's get on the line. Let's get on the line. The free kick's coming over. And Pickford... That is a great save. No, just get it away. Just get it away. John Stones, run. Run, John Stones. Run. Run up this right-hand side. John Stones in the middle. Are we going to get another chance before half-time? And Rodriguez, come on. Keep going. 
Keep going. Rodriguez. Try and get it through for St. Maximin. St. Maximin. Ball roll it. That is great. St. Maximin. Finish that. Oh, it's a great. It's great. Rodri Richarlison. Finish that, please. Oh, man. How close can you be? Okay, here we go. Dortmund now. Maybe with a chance to seal it in Dumfries. Oh, it's going to be the corner. It's going to be the corner. Ward Prowse on for Neves. Ward Prowse for Neves. Yeah, let's get him on. Let's get Ward Prowse on. Let's get some fresh legs on. Could help us in the counter attack. Maybe after this corner. You never know. You never know. Sancho. Poor corner. Ward Prowse right now. Ward Prowse. Any players running? Find Rodriguez. No. Ward Prowse. Please. No. 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 There we go. Christensen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alan is on as well. Alan. Luca D. Make a run. There we go. Come on. Forward for Richarlison, who's in plenty of space. Richarlison. This has to be the winner. Has to be the winner. Please, Richarlison. Oh, come on. St. Maximum. Maximum inside. Rodriguez, maybe. And it's blocked, guys. It's blocked. It's going to be penalties. It's going to be penalties. Here we go, then. Let's get straight into these penalties, guys. It's going to win now. Whether we like it or not, Harlan's done me. Done me straight away there. Come on, Rodriguez. Let's go top right. Let's go top right. Come on, Rodriguez. Come on. Don't let me down. And he doesn't let me down. There we go. Rodriguez gets us one. The first one. Fogden Hazard now. Hazard, oh, Pickford sent the wrong way, sent the wrong way, difficult this, difficult this, Ward Prowse, come on, Ward Prowse, bottom right, there we go, in, come on, 2-2, two, two. here we go, to sober, to sober, I haven't saved one as of yet, so I dived the right way, just didn't dive quick enough, Calvert-Lewin, Calvert-Lewin, I reckon a top left of Calvert-Lewin, come on, Calvert-Lewin, come on, come on, come on, come on, get it in and it's in, there we go, no one's saving that, no one, Sancho, Sancho is going bottom left, he's going bottom, he's gone bottom right, he's gone bottom right, Richarlison, okay, Richarlison, I'm thinking bottom right corner, come on, make it difficult to save, make it difficult to save, and he does, there we go, goalkeeper sent the wrong way, here we go, here we go, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh my god, guys, I've never had a penalty shootout like it, come on, Luca Dean, top right corner, Luca Dean right now, come on, let's not mess this up, Luca Dean, come on, and he's in, there we go, look at that for a finish on Luca Dean, Julian Brandt, Julian Brandt, let's go, he's gonna go right, so we do, we save it, what a save that is from Pickford, what a save, come on, let's get this in, Denzel Dumfries, one of our first signings, if not, was it our first signing, I don't know, let's not worry about that, let's go bottom right, come on, Dumfries, come on, Big, big, big chance for you here. Dumfries and it's in. There we go. We have beaten Borussia Dortmund in the final of the Champions League. Denzel Dumfries. Was he our first signing, guys? Let me know down below in the comments. I've got a feeling it might be. If it is, what a loop. What a loop that is. From our first signing to our final goal, Denzel Dumfries does it for us in the Champions League final. What a massive goal that is. What a massive goal that is for us, guys. Again, I didn't feel like that penalty shootout was ever going to end. I just didn't feel like it was. And it was just so, so close. But again, what a rebuild this has been. 1-1 one, one in, you know, full time and extra time. We had so many great chances, you know, with St. Maximum, with Richarlison. Uh, Hamas Rodriguez, just a little bit too heavy on the first touch for one of them. But we made it. We made it through and we beat Dortmund. In the Champions League final. What a final that is, guys. But there we go, guys. What a final that was against Dortmund. We won 6-5 on penalties. And I've got to be honest, guys. It was a lot closer than I thought. I really thought we would have got the win in the 90 minutes. But Dortmund, fair play. You know, when you've got players like Haaland still in your team. Sancho still in your team. You know, you expected to go far, and they did. But there we go, this is the team that we did finish off with then in this rebuild. And again, I'm pretty happy with it, i got to admit. Again, St. Maximin, former player that obviously Rafa Benitez has managed. Same goes for Christensen. Now, Christensen, again, has he managed him or not? I just know Chelsea did buy him when Rafa Benitez was in charge. And again, John Stones bringing him back to Goodison Park. Denzel Dumfries getting the final goal in the Champions League, and again, Hamas Rodriguez still in the team, 31 years of age, 86 rated, and again, what a team, what, what, what a team. But there we go, then we're going to finish off this rebuild here then, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, the first rebuild on the channel, and I definitely want to do more rebuilds like this, so guys, let me know down below in the comments, any other teams you'd like me to do, I've got a few in mind, Spurs, AC Milan, them two teams, Barcelona, you know, never know, obviously, having a lot of trouble at the moment, with obviously contracts and stuff like that, so maybe we could work something around that, but again, if you want to see more let me know by hitting the like button and also guys if you are new here and you want to see more videos like this hit the red subscribe button and i'll catch you guys next time